Hello YouTube and welcome back to the Loose Transistor channel. We're here in my living room this time because I'm actually running the printer right now and last time you guys got pretty mad at me about all the sounds so I figured we'll shoot it over here, it's a little bit quieter, We maybe we can clean it up in post but anyway, uh, I just wanted to cut out check with you guys because there's been a lot of stuff happening in the past couple weeks, uh, a few things coming in the channel, a few things that I want to show you guys as well that I've been working on. So uh, yeah, let's just get started with uh, the stuff that I wanted to show you guys. So some of you might have seen if you follow me on Instagram and all this other stuff that uh, I got some custom wraps for my uh, Tyrannus. Like check that out. Ooh, so nice. And I made these gimbals here too. I'm gonna put these on Thingiverse if you guys wanna download them and use them. They're made to fit these uh, slightly bigger uh, gimbal sticks that I have here. But man, look at that. That is freaking amazing. So that is a NX Graphics skin. It's a vinyl type sticker thing. You put it on, it's actually not that bad to install. This probably took me about 40 minutes to install and then you just hit it with some heat gun and just poke it all around the right places and it just looks freaking awesome. I'm, I'm really, really happy with how it turned out. Uh, once you heat it up, the bubbles all go away too. So as long as you're careful and patient, you should be able to get it done, no problem. So have to make sure you clean it well with some isopropyl alcohol and you're good to go. And another thing I wanted to show you guys about the Tyrannus is this weird sort of unconventional mod that I'm sure a lot of you are gonna flame me for, but if you can see it there, what is that? Ooh. So uh, that's a 90 degree USB, micro USB, and it's just a really, really short cable. The reason I did this is because I do like to use this radio for simming quite a bit, and I do prefer to do most of my settings on it uh, through the companion app. So um, I figured, this, this thing is so fragile. I was always afraid that it was gonna break or wear out because I'm pretty bad with, I have terrible luck with USB. So I figured, let's see if I can find a 90 degree thing and just glue it on there. So this is some pretty heavy duty glue. It's not gonna move, but I don't. I have it so that it's not actually underneath, it's just around. So providing a little bit of rigidity around it so it doesn't actually move, but it should be fairly easy to, re to remove it if I need to replace it later. I'm hoping that this is gonna last a long time though, so I'm not gonna worry. Let me just show you guys real quick here too, just the little gimbal protector, see if you can see it pretty well there. Ooh, so yeah, definitely pretty cool here. And also got this sweet wrap right here. So this is all given to me by my buddy Andrew or Wrecked FPV uh, through the, you guys might know him through the FPV chat. So uh, he hooked me up with these skins from NX Graphics and they're freaking awesome. I'm really, really stoked on these guys. So really, really good quality stuff. Definitely recommend you grab yourself one. And uh, if you're wondering about the strap, this is the Hot Dog FPV strap. Also a great guy to deal with. Uh, you can very easily find uh, his stuff online. So Hot Dog FPV, I'll put the link below for you guys as well. And I'll put a link for the NX Graphics too. <clears throat> So I haven't yet had a chance to test out this little guy here, which was the that uh, launch pad thing that I showed you guys last time. So it's actually been pretty crappy weather around here since the last time I spoke with you guys. So the whole ground is covered in snow. There's really nowhere for me to set this up well because uh, it, literally it's a mixture of snow and rain every other day. So it's just gross. And uh, even flying has been pretty challenging. So I'm gonna wait a little bit until maybe the snow subsides a little bit more and I'll get you guys some video of this thing in action because I really want to try it out too. I want to see how it changes my launching and all that. Oh, I even have one of the legs flipped over over here. But yeah, I'll definitely bring this back to you guys and uh, talk to you guys once I have a chance to actually test it. Uh, other than that, I've been flying a lot of the six inch actually. Uh, built this uh, Hype six inch uh, a few weeks back and I've really been liking it. It's just something about the bigger quads. I don't know what it is. I just like it. It just feels so soft, so smooth. Once you tune them well, it's just amazing. So anyway, I've got another Hyfe 7 inch on the way uh, from the man himself and we'll be building that together. So hopefully I'll get a video for you guys on the whole build process of building a 7 inch and getting to that to tune because it's kind of tough with these props. So I might actually even have to do some balancing of the props myself. But uh, yeah, really excited to fly something nice and large like a 7 inch. It's just there's so much power on those quads and uh, it has a nice momentum because of the way the quad just carries over. I don't know. I really, really like it. Something about the bigger quads. Small quads, I get it, like the 2 inch and the 3 inch. That stuff is super cool and super fun. They're fast and super quick, but it just lacks that momentum that I really like for freestyle. Um, let's see. What else did I have to cover with you guys? Right. I'm actually going to be doing a couple segments or a few segments for the FPV show. So if you guys are not familiar with the FPV show, it is a podcast and it's a pretty cool podcast. They get uh, some interesting guests to talk about industry stuff and just laugh a little bit. And it's hosted by a great group of guys. So uh, it's uh, Hive PV, uh, Bluegrass Multirotor, 
and Gap at FPV. So these guys are great. Uh, they have a great chemistry together and it's a great show to listen to. So check it out. And I'm going to be doing uh, like kind of like a monthly thing where I just help them with some of their technical uh, questions or some of the things that were glossed over on the show or maybe some of the things that they got completely wrong because that happens a lot. But uh, <laughs> we'll try to help them out and uh, give you guys some information in some other venues as well. Um, but yeah, we'll continue doing the same sort of stuff here on the channel too. So you don't have to worry about it. So make sure you subscribe. Um, right. The last thing that I want to talk to you guys about is about the beta flight configurator. So, uh, Chrome is dropping support for the beta for the apps, basically the app marketplace, all that other stuff. They're going to drop support of it eventually. So beta flight has gone ahead and uh, made a standalone version of, um, the configurator. It's pretty easy to do. I'm not going to go do a full guide for you guys because Bardo has already done one. There's a ton of them online. It's super simple. Literally, you just go to the beta flight configurator, uh, GitHub page, go to the releases section, and you should see it right there. It's just a zip file. You download it for Windows or Mac, whatever your platform is. There's even a Linux version. And you just unzip that stuff on your desktop or whatever else that so you're going to find it easily, and you can just run it from there, and it's just the same thing as you're used to before. Uh, the thing that I am wondering about, though, is the uh, Betaflight black box and the uh, BL Heli configurator, because those are pretty handy to have. So I wonder what's going to happen to those. I haven't heard anything about them being moved over or anything like that. I think it would be pretty nice if there was a way to just unify this whole ecosystem into a single configurator. That would be pretty awesome. Maybe Betaflight is listening. Maybe they'll do that. I don't know. So, uh, yeah. That's basically all I got for you guys. So I'm going to be taking off for a few weeks there for Christmas and all this other stuff. So I'll catch you guys in the new year. Till then, have a great Christmas and I'll catch you guys then.